What's up guys, General Incompetence here and welcome to episode 49 of this Judy I Let's Play on Total War Rome Remastered. And before we get into it, you guys know the script. Remember to smash that like button if you're still enjoying the content. We managed again to get to 50 likes on the nose on the previous video. That's 48 episodes in and we're still hitting 50 likes. I am so, so grateful. But please don't stop there. Let's keep going. We're nearly at episode 50. And look at all this red on the map. It's beautiful. So yeah, don't stop now. Keep going. Keep hitting that like button. Remember, comments in the comment section down below is a sacrifice to the gods of the YouTube algorithm and with all of your tactical hints, tips, and suggestions. Um, we've tailed off a little bit in comments, so just drop something down below even if it's just to let me know that you're still here but haven't commented for a while um because i haven't um heard from some of the old gang for quite some time so yeah just drop your comments in the comments down section down below let me know you're still here if nothing else and remember if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel now let's dive into things things are getting interesting in greece Quintus is just doing quintus things at the age of 77 and he has summoned his son it's like just when uh, Marcus Aurelius summoned Commodus to, to Germania um, because he was uh, apparently dying. Well, Queso has been summoned to Greece and he's coming with legionaries at his back. Um, and we'll just see, I mean, Quintus next, up, uh, next turn even is going to be laying siege to Thermom and hopefully we're going to be taking that and I don't think there's anything they can really do about it. And I'm thinking Queso is going to go on holiday to Sparta. Um, and really hit them hard. Sextus is besieging Thermom, and we're just getting together some siege equipment, I believe. Yes, we are indeed, because we can't rely on one onager. Um, and we're just moving this fleet back to get retrained and to pick up Queso ready for, ready for his southern Greek holiday. Um, now, we also need to think about what's going on in Egypt at the moment, and if memory serves correctly, we have just recruited several assassins so we need to get them trained you are a level two and you've got plague so let's put you into some enemy territory you are also a level two let's move you up that way and you are also a level two easy start for you boom nice excellent start Let's send you over here. Now, um, we do want to start churning out some troops here again. Or continue to churn out troops because we need to just put the nail in the Egyptian coffin. That needs to happen. Um, I think that is now Seleucid territory. I don't have any ships nearby to be able to check. Um, but look, Petra has got to be our next target. Um, and we just need a decent stack together to be able to do that. Um, so, with that being said, um, let's just put some Praetorians together, because who doesn't like Praetorians? Um, we do have Plague in Alexandria, though, so maybe not there. Because if we put that in any army or in any city... I believe it just carries plague with it. Yep. So we want we're not gonna do that. Let's churn out some Praetorians over here as well. Just cause I love me some Praetorians. Now let's have a look. Jerusalem. As you can probably hear, my dog is barking in the background, which is great fun. Not uh, okay, I mean that would add about 150 income per turn. Not bad. That's going to add nothing. Perhaps a little bit of that to help with public order. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's go for a public baths. Sit on your already building. Good stuff. Any low hanging fruit. That's not what I call low hanging fruit. That is though. What about you? Nice. You're already a level 7, so we don't need to do anything too drastic. Let's have a look up north, shall we? I mean, they have stacks. That's for damn sure. 
I mean, we're, we are in a position where we can hold. If they attack us, we will be able to beat them back. We have archers, we have legionaries, we have everything that we need. We have everything a healthy Roman city needs if it's going to come under siege. What I do think that we should do is to repurpose these guys. Can I move them out with public order being okay? Just about. We're about to have a new temple in there. Let's put in some town watch and march you back to Thebes. Because you have got some good armor. We'll get you retrained and you can be repurposed. This does need taking. We need to sort everything out um, in Lepsis Magna first. Now, I'm curious to know wh what's happening with Ireland. So, I might swing the ships around and go and have a look. And it could be that we take one of the stacks and go and take Ireland first. Because we don't have to hit the Brits in Belgica or Londinium first. We could invade from the north and go round and kind of do the opposite to what the Romans did. Um, I think it was History Marsh, the YouTube channel. If you guys have never heard of like History Marsh, go and check it out. It's like, in my opinion, the best historical YouTube channel going. And they actually make it really engaging. It's almost like a Rome Total War style videos. Um, and they show you battles and all sorts. But they did two different videos on both of Julius Caesar's invasions of Britain. Um, and they were just fantastic. Those videos were from about four years ago. But go and check it out if you haven't already. Um, yeah, and if you like the Napoleon... In fact, if you like any area of history at all, which I'm assuming you do if you are here joining me uh, on this channel, then it's definitely for you. So go and have a look. Anyway, let's just let's just get going. Um, we do have the Praetorian Cav, by the way, sailing up to Patavion to be retrained, but let's not waste any more time. Let's just... Yeah, let's... Fuck it. Let's just end the turn. There's a lot of plague going on in Macedonia. Well, certainly in those armies anyway, which I'm happy with. Seleucids, are you going to do anything yet? I mean, it looks like they declared war on me for no reason whatsoever. Oh, the Brits have betrayed me. Oh, boy. It begins. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh my lord, right. Woo, Tiberius Attilius. You're up against it, pal. What are we facing? Chosen swordsmen, they are good. Head hurlers. Luckily, they've got a fair old lot of warband, but they do have some chariots. We should win this. They haven't got enough heavy swordsmen, and we've got enough legionaries and some enough legionary cavalry and a general. So whilst they outnumber us by 700 men, we should be okay. Okay, this I did not expect. This is going to change things a lot. Um, I still think that Queso should go over to Greece. But um, yeah, we, we're going to need to do some recruitment. That's for damn sure. We're going to need to summon the legionaries. We need to get everyone together and be prepared to defend. And hopefully we're going to be alright in... Uh, in northern France uh, because I can't remember the name of the settlement we're currently under siege now first step though win this battle um, wow I love that finally the AI being aggressive well I say finally I mean we're, the Romans weren't great but um, yeah this is fun I if wasn't expecting it right, yeah, alright let's just I just want to get into business Right, they are attacking us. So, we can probably choose our battleground. They have to come to us. So, your first, first line. Well, everyone's going to go on fire at will, of course. You are going to be our first line. Like that. Second line is Legionary Cohort. We'll change that if we have to. Praetorians in reserve. Legionary Cavalry. On... Hmm. This... No. We'll put you over here.
Or... No, it's too far to gallop round. General, over here. It should be have some more natural protection from there. We basically just don't want to get engaged with their heavy chariots, uh, with our cavalry. But we want some... Yeah, that might be an issue. We're very close to the edge of the battlefield. And we might not have any space to gallop around behind them. We'll have to wait and see. But I'm hoping the topography is going to help us. Let's move this line forward, shall we? Yeah, they can't cross over that. Okay, what do we got going on here? You know what? What is that? Swordsman. Let's bring you back. Let's just move you all forwards. I think you're going to be needed on this side. General. We just need to be aware that they might try and flank us. Legionaries, if you move up here. Just don't want to have any massive gaps. In fact, archers, that's a nice little gap for you there. Stand your ground, man. And hopefully when you're in position, we can get some shots off. And it might be a good idea to start with those chariots. Alright. Gentlemen. Big it. They're going to be nice and tired. We can swarm them. Shoot them down. Uh, chariots, please. Best way to take out chariots is at range. And they are not ranged chariots. They're melee chariots. Go on. Big volley. So we can take some of them down. Right. Hit them for both sides. Right, they're coming in close now. Right, this unit's fucked. Boom. Immediate break. Lovely. Clean that up. They're already wavering. That's nice. We're starting to make some good inroads on their chariots. We've got two rows of Pelon being thrown. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. They've completely polished off that unit already. Swordsman. Yeah, these guys are already tired. That's good news. Yes! Captain's dead. General is dead! His men know their doom approaches. Okay. Okay, who should we go for? Nice, both units broken. Let's just withdraw real quick, then we'll sort that unit out. So far, so good. Alright, everyone smash them. Immediate route. Bosh, bosh, bosh. Hopefully these cavalry will get some experience from all this. And then we'll mop that up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Guys, guys, guys. Guard mode. 
Chill. It's fine. Relax. Alright. Shoot those head hurlers. Uh, guys. The head hurlers. Oh, they've come back. The our tactics just work so much more effectively against these types of armies versus like them more Hellenic style. Yeah, they've immediately broken as of they. Right. I think it's time to start moving forward. Because they are tied and they're withdrawing. Good. Let's get this done. I don't know what they've got that's still in... Like, not routed yet, but... Oh, it'll be this, this stuff over here, won't it? Right, cavalry, good. Still no experience from those guys, which I think is harsh. General, start coming in. The main thing is our strongest troops are pretty much undamaged. And we might get casualty heals. Archers, just start running. Alright, horse boys. Let's see if we can completely destroy this army. We need to focus on that. In fact, the head hurlers as well. Yeah, they need to go. Yeah, they're exhausted. They're being run down a love tap from the infantry should make them uh, route in you go yeah routing good start munching them up okay head headers are gone How have these not gained any experience? That is crazy. Right, let's bring you over here. Let's get everything we can. Come on, keep going, go, go, go. Right, let's speed this up. Uh, what am I missing? Go, go, go. And... Oh! Munch. Let's go. This makes no sense. It d if anyone really knows, like, the in-depths of, like... Let's just have a look to make sure I'm not being an idiot. Also, great heals. Where's the cavalry? I mean, look at this. 577 and 302. If anyone really knows the in-depth workings of the mechanics behind the experience gained in this game, please comment down below and let me know. Just let me know anything you know about how it works. Because if one unit has killed 577 men in one battle and 
doesn't have a single Chevron experience already, it makes no sense as to why they wouldn't get one. So just someone let me know why you think that that's happened. That'd be great. Thank you. Let's just fast forward this bit. Okay. So. Let's just have a look at what we're working with. Coming of age. Publius Julius. Good. A member of the Julii. Now, we don't really want you to be there for very long, but I believe there is a scriptorium here. Or at least an academy. There's an academy. Um, we're going to leave you there because we may need to take Sextus north. Death sorts of land. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, of course. We're taking you, aren't we? And, of course, the Brits are betrayed. Yes, so you don't have any plague in your army anymore. So, we're going to bring... How old are you, by the way? 57. Okay, that's fine. Um, let me just... Yeah, we've still got that, haven't we? We will have to get rid of that, I think. Um, right. Let's move you to Massalia. And let's recruit you immediately. I was going to say some of the good shit, but we can't necessarily get the good shit. At least some legionaries. Legionaries. Alicia, yeah. We've kind of drained all our legionaries in this area to go south. Can't get legionaries there. Christ. Okay. Northern Italy, it's your time to shine again. I need everyone recruiting because we have a water fight in the north. What have we got in here? Okay, we've got some good... We don't have any cavalry, which is annoying, but we've got enough to deal with that. And we've now got a general coming to join the fight. Sir. And we got some really good heals. Our army's in very good condition. It looks like they're coming over to Germania Superior. Um, so let's get just any supporting troops we can, like archers. God, you're 75. And you've got some things to give. You've got a librarian and priest of Jupiter to give away. Actually, let's just double check that, sorry. Influence and mana. Okay, yeah. Librarian and, pri and priest of Jupiter, we're going to give to you. Publius Julius. So let's do that real quick. We want P. Publius. Publius Julius. And it was librarian, so L. Yeah. And I think it was priest of Jupiter. Send those on the way. And you know what? We might as well. It's oh. annoying. And you can reach in the next turn. So I don't think we're going to be able to bring him down. Fortunately. And we may end up having a bit of a public order issue on our hands. So we should probably address that. We're building an arena. We haven't got much spare, to be honest. Hmm. Well, at least it's causing us to think rather than steamroll. I like that. Okay, let's just deal with the rest. Good. All right. Where are you? There you are. Okay. So you're learning. Good for you. 
And we have to remember that uh, Quintus is still alive. Still. And we have to love that. Apollonia, good. Show me everything. I want to see. Okay. Good job that we got that unit of Praetorians in just in time. Aretio now has public baths. Um, mm -mm -mm. What else should we put in? I mean, there is no corruption, so... We're just going to leave it alone. We're going to leave Aretium as it is. Um, what to do, what to do. Hmm. Okay. Roads it is. Um, what do we have to do to get the next level up of you? Oh, we can't do that yet because we're not. The town isn't big enough. Um, growth is steady. A little bit of devastation, but it's not the end of the world. Uh... Let's get an archery range. Ah, yes, Nepti. Okay. So. Let's start by just increasing our connectivity with better roads. We've already sorted you out. Alexandria, good. And another public order building. Scalabus. You definitely need public baths. You're not happy. Demidi. How are we doing for cash? We're doing alright. Cordoba. Now I'd have thought actually yeah that will add 5% and decrease corruption which is sky high. Okay. Gosh, Croton, uh, definitely a foundry, and we're nearly out of cash. Sewer, Apollonia, Epsis Magna, and pop that in. Oh, we spent a lot of money. We might go and cancel some of that if we need to. Ready to sail. This uh, let's move you north. Pop you in there. Du, 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 du. Now there is no need for this whatsoever. Assassin ready. Let's have a look. That's a that's a lot of archers. Assassin ready. Yeah, we can't actually see. There's nothing we can really kill that's worthy, so we'll just assassinate you. Nice. You're now level 10. And let's lay siege. Um, couple of those. Couple of those. Nice. I like it. Now, we can move in on you. I mean, we could do it just now. Um, okay, so they've only got one good unit. I mean, these two basically don't exist. One good unit and a faction leader. That's what they've got. 
No need to do it at night. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. Okay. Right, let's figure out who's doing what. So, I actually like that. Um, oh, we're a little bit battered, aren't we? So, let's think this through, shall we? They're probably going to have something right there. Let's pop you there. Let's pop you there. And then ladders. One here. And... One a little bit further over. Again, just to try and avoid getting shot as much as possible. Now, a hutch... I mean, that's... We're going to just keep you back. Your um, mer um, merchants, your mercenaries, I don't really care about you. Let's have you here. Um, infantry, let's have you here. Equities. Equities. Let's just kind of have you there. You know what, the Onager, we'll have you there and you can try and batter the gate. Alrighty. Only marks, get set, go. Hey, everyone move in. Okay, no one is on the walls. Surprise, surprise. The Onagers are not going for the gates as I wanted them to. So you can cease fire. What I'm hoping they well, I think they're just going to retreat to the town center. I was hoping they might stick around so I could seize the walls and they can get shot. I hope these guys can make it in. Go on, go, go, go. Yeah. This is a step on the path to victory. The towers are at the walls. Good. Our ladders are in place. And our men are now attacking against courage. What use of war? Now this is the unit we really need to pepper. So I don't think they're going to be going this direction very much. So let's start by seizing this uh, tower immediately. Then we can go back and get that one. We can seize the gatehouse, and we want to seize all of these. So we shoot them as they're on their way in. Speed that up. Come on, fellas. Take it. Good. Our soldiers have done well this day. The walls are taken. As soon as you can. I don't know why they're not shooting anymore. But we should take that one next. Hoping if I can line up them up there and put them on fire at will, they might throw their pilum. What's that? The early legionaries. Who knows? They might fire back. Uh, they literally must be in like the perfect dead spot. Right. Fancy it? Wait for my orders. Fire at will. Are you gonna do anything? Go on, you can get him. I don't know why they're not shooting. Ah, now they are. Go on. 
Go on, get them. They're facing away from you. Great opportunity. Oh, there we go. And the towers are now doing their thing. Oh, I love this. Turning their own weapons against them. Against the two major units as well. Love it. You know what? Let's shadow them. No. I'm half tempted to move some archers in and put them on the walls. Hopefully they're not going to derp out. Oh, look at that. Yes. Love this. A surprising number of the Praetorians are still alive. But they do have very high levels of armor, so... Right. Up come the archers. In fact, let's just take some of these just in case. Give the archers some space to work. How are we doing over here? I think these units are gone. Yep, that unit's dead. The king is over there. And what's in the center? Oh, the couple of men that they've got. That's fine. Okay. Of course, the archers are going about it in a very weird way. Because why wouldn't they? Sure, just like kind of move around this way. Ah, uh, uh, good. Archers are starting to shoot. Come on, their backs are turned. Just pick them off, bit by bit. Nice. This is so much better than actually having to fight them hand to hand. Oh, these guys are slow. Hang on. Oh, shite! Go, go, go. Oh, that was that was dumb. I didn't realize. Hopefully we'll get the heals. So that'll be fine. Alright, you guys take a breather. How are we doing over here? Very well, they're nearly done. You know what? We're going to bring you in because we're going to need you against their king. What the hell is going on with our archers? Oh, they're routing. Love to see it. Nice. Yeah, as I thought, they're just going to retreat back to the center. Well, we're just going to use what we've already got. So, let's bring you down. Can we get the last one? There we go. So, let's move you up. And the idea is now that, uh, let's expand that. 
that we managed to like line up our archers and pepper them to make them like charge into the pikes. That's what I'm thinking. I tell you what, let me just fast forward this bit and I'll uh, bring us back when there's something to report. Okay, so we're pretty much where we want to be. And I'm just going to get them to start shooting. Just move you guys up a little bit. So hopefully this will cause them to charge directly into my hoplites and wreck themselves. I probably should have lined them up double stacked like right there because there's a little bit of a gap but I might actually have time to quickly make that adjustment. Oh, come on, there we go. Ah, oh, shite. We're not going to be ready in time. Oh, no. I've ruined my own plan. It might be okay. Who knows? Yeah, kind of buggered up my own plan there. But they're now getting shot by Peeler. It's all good. The Phalanx will sort themselves out in a second. I brought the cavalry in as well, just in case. Yeah, they're going to start retreating any moment. Feel free to throw javelins. What the hell are my archers doing, you absolute mongs? I mean, fire? Why are you guys facing the wrong way? Then that way, you retard. Stop putting your pikes at me. Just get in there. Oh dear. Bloody mercenaries. They're literally facing the wrong way. What a shit show. <laughs> Oh dear. Hey, you're out of missiles. You can't reach. Neither can you. Oh. Speed it up. Eventually, they'll get it done. There we go. Now is the time to strike hard at his grieving subjects. Go and sex this, in you come, and then you can finish these guys off as well. Archers, just stop trying. Texas, he got this. Boom. They'll die pretty fast. Yep. Couple of units of auxilia. Oh, they killed one. Bastards. Now they've just got the Centurion and the Standard Bearer left. Stabby, stab, stab. Excellent. Such a victory. The day and I ours. believe that is now Brutii destroyed. Ah. Oh, at least the Cretan archers got something. Isn't that nice? Bosh. Right, there we go. Defeat two other Roman factions as a Roman faction. Boom. Um, right, that is wildly overpopulated. 
And we could do a cash. House of Brutii destroyed. Luckily, we've already got the late tier buildings, so we can just pop in those retrainings and it's all well that ends well. But we do need some practice range. We definitely need that. We need to retrain our archers. Excellent. And now we have some more funds available. So, we are the only Romans left in town. Scipii, gone. SBQR, gone. Brutii, gone. Bosh, bosh, bosh. Um, I don't know what our victory conditions actually are. Oh, we've already completed them. Okay. We have completed our victory conditions. Excellent news. Imperator. But we are not finished. Far from it. Besieging settlement, sir. Orders. Say far from it. We are obviously getting right towards the end of this now. Aye, Set sail. Right, let's retrain you guys. Flip around that. Um, you know what? One more ship as well, just to protect you bringing the cavalry back down. Because these, you know, this cavalry is really important. Um, good. Good, good, good. Who shall die this day? 54% or a 95%. Sorry, 45%, not 54%. Good. You've just gotten better. Who shall die this day? Death Go on then. Yes, well done. Everybody assassinating. Killer waiting for orders. Sixty percent. Yes. Let's go. The three musketeers. Assassin ready. Moving to position, waiting for order. In fact, yeah, let's just move everyone down here. And start focusing on the Egyptians. Oh, right, that's why. Okay. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Back into Thebes. I'm hoping that retraining them here won't get rid of all of their, like, upgrades. I didn't think about that. Because that would be kind of annoying, wouldn't it? I mean, we just send them to Memphis to get it redone, but just unnecessary time. Um, buildings. Yes, buildings. Um, that's completely pointless. That's completely pointless. That, however, I know we're not getting much money from it, but again, increased infrastructure. I don't see why not. Sewer. Let's have a look. Okay, corruption is actually going down. Mm. Let's put in an academy. Help reduce corruption. Now then. Um, okay, things are improving. I don't want to spend forever here, though. Do we have a spare general? We do not. However, we have spare units. Let's march you over here. And also start churning out some town watch. So we can begin the process of moving on. Now. Now then. Yeah, we're already putting in... We haven't ended the turn, have we? Sir. Okay, so... Sir, I mean, it says it's fairly even, but I'm pretty confident we can wipe these guys out. The light chariots are going to be annoying. But with our Praetorians and our Legionaries, we should be able to get this done. And we outnumber them as well. I know, I know that a lot of that is Town Watch, which is next to useless, but whatever.
Okay. Nice haircut, mate. Put you like that. Town watch. Okay. Let's do it. Hopefully they might come close enough to get shot by the towers. That'd be good fun. If we could somehow bait them. Let's line up. And then town watch. Don't tell. Oh, why is. Why would you have a unit of town watch as the captain instead of a unit of Praetorians? Again, what goes into that decision? If anyone knows, again, comments in the comment section down below to let me know what. Like, how they decide what unit is going to be the general unit when. Um, like, they're. You've just got, like, a captain. Hey, don't worry about being shot. Keep advancing. Mm, they're not the way around that I want them. Just makes more sense for me to have them on that side and them on this side, because then I can run by left and right. Alright, their chariots are literally doing nothing. Not lost a single man yet. Right, good. We're close. Start throwing your javelins, guys. You want missile damage? This is fucking missile damage, boys. Get yourself some of that, bitch. They can't quite reach. Oh, nice. Really nice and thinning them out now. Especially in their center. Yeah. Get those chosen swordsmen. And again. These are the key ones to hit. We're under attack. All right, let's move up again. Like this. Couple more volleys from this and then we'll charge in. Because hopefully they'll be going for the chosen swordsman. No, they should be. Last one, or are you now done? No, last one. Come on, chosen swordsman, surely. Right in front of you. Good, good, good. Right. Let's go. Let's break their center. They should break pretty... Pretty easily, I'd have thought. Oh, no, of course they put up a war cry, didn't they? Well, let's start wrapping around. Yeah. This unit got the full hit. Come on, send in the reinforcements. It's so weird not having cavalry. There we go. They're withdrawing, surely. Yeah, they're buggering off. Alright. You don't want this smoke. Nicely done. You're too far away to make a difference, but whatever. Attack! 
get as many as you can. Come on, wipe that unit out. Bitch. Have some of that. Yeah, we're not going to get anyone else. Boom. Take that. Ah, oh, good. Excellent. Let's retrain. And get a unit of... We can't get decent cavalry or archers. Two turns though and we'll be able to. But we can get another unit of legionaries, which is always good news. Um, <laughs> now we could get a general in there from here. So why don't we potentially do that? Let's take you and a couple of units of cavalry and move in here. General. And General. Victory. Nice. That's moved them away. So what I might do is actually pursue Because we've got nothing threatening us from immediately from the north. Like, nothing can hit us next turn. We should have a couple of more units that can make it in here when needed. I mean, they can hit us next turn. So, I think, actually... We should probably put in what we can while we can. Any decent mercenaries around? Not really. Um, I mean, it's something, but... Mm. You know what? I could do with it just... We'll go for just two units. And we can upgrade you. Let me upgrade you. Fine. That is what we're going to do. And I think that is actually where we're going to leave this episode. Um, I reckon we're in a decent space right now. These ships are not doing anything. Let's bring you into the fold. Good. That's all happening. Okay, so it's nearly there. As are his ships. Next episode, we should have them over. Let's just double check that we're not missing anything in terms of our agents. I don't think so. So, we've now officially defeated the, uh, the Brutii. We are making efforts to build another force that can take on the Egyptians. Um... The Brits have betrayed us and declared war, and we have so far smashed them. One in the field and one, uh, one defense battle, so that's great. Um, and we are trying to spring up legionaries everywhere that we can. And we've got a General Herius Victor coming in that's going to pick up what he can and again march north. So... Remember, if you've enjoyed this episode, smash that like button. Comments in the comment section down below. And remember to subscribe to the channel. Until the next one. Bye for now.